Yes. So guys, it's been a while. Uh, I haven't done a video in a minute. I just said that twice. This is Michael. Hey, what's up? We're back to do another video. Uh, we just went to Dallas for my niece's birthday. And we went to an Asian store. And they had a bunch of Lay's flavors we've never even heard of before. There's, I know there's videos out here on YouTube already like this, but uh, screw them. My video, and this is new. Yep. All right, so let's begin. Okay. So we start over first, Michael. It is a it is Lay's Max Gourmet Sour Cream flavor and onion sour cream and onion. So we got like. I was, it was like 20 bags. Yeah. And we ordered them in least weird to weirdest. That just smells it's like weird. It doesn't smell like normal. It's because it's to the max. That's true, yeah. Doesn't look as white. They look, look normal. Look, don't look any different. Yeah, they look like normal ones. Let's see. Sour cream onion. You feel maxed out, brother? Hmm? You feel maxed out? I guess it is a little more sour cream and onion than normal ones. I could taste a little bit more sour cream and onion. Yeah. That was pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. It's a pretty good chip. Pretty good chip. But it was the most normal of all of them. Yeah. Every, so it's only going to get weirder. Everyone after this is just, you know. It's going to be a little weird. Do you want to cleanse their palates between each one? Yeah. Still just mess between each one. That's some cool water. Okay. Our next one. Alright, the next one, and this is the one at the beginning you predicted would taste the best. Yeah. So we'll see about that. But it is a Lay's roasted chicken wing flavor. Click, 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 click. I like chicken wings, so. There we go. Oh, that was weird. Smells like chicken wings. I could. Oh. It's wavy. They're very wavy. Bunch of seasoning on them. Can't really see the seasoning. But it's like... Mm. It tastes like a chicken wing. Mm -hmm. That's good. These are great. Oh my god. I need a big bag of those. ASAP. Yeah, those are actually really, really good. What's that? You think that's Korean? It's probably Korean. Oh, that's definitely... I'm pretty sure that's Korean. Maybe. Super garlic aftertaste. It's got a little bit of a garlicky... I don't want to say... Hot. It's kick. not hot, it's just like... It's a kick. It, it's got a little bit of a kick. It did not start with that. But it definitely had a spicier kick at the end there. But still, pretty normal flavor. Pretty normal flavor. Really good. It's very delicious. They're gonna start getting weird. Yeah. Here on. This one. This one is Italian red meat flavor. Which means whatever that means. It's just the red meat. It's like just, it's like just a red sauce. Or anything, I guess. Like. Yeah, I mean the, the bowl on it is just like a red meat sauce. There's no noodles or anything in there. But the potato chips are starch, so. They are the starch. They are very red. They're. Hold on. What? Let me get a chip. They almost look like barbecue chips. These are red. Look, look how they've marketed on the package. Yeah, they're like, like very pale yellow, like normal chips. They do look like barbecue chips. They kind of smell like barbecue chips. Good taste of meat. <laughs> it's almost like when you eat a meat that has been smoked. It's like a smoky flavor. Those are pretty good too. They're pretty good. I still the chicken wing ones are still my favorite. Oh, they're still much better. It's just those are actually not that bad. So so far all have been good. Yeah. Which hopefully it will stay that way. <sighs> you thought this one would be good too, the next one. Yeah. These first four I thought they were gonna It's it's after this one it starts to get really weird. These first four would be pretty pretty American, you know. I don't know about that. But this one, and I mean this one is a roasted cumin lamb skewer flavor. 
So this one should be pretty interesting. I've never heard of Lay's dipping into lamb. You think the stick's gonna be in there? <laughs> that smells weird. Oh. I think it's the It's the lamb smell, I guess. That one. I've never I haven't eaten lamb in a while. Is it weird to think that I thought they'd be kind of browner? They're just regular regular looking lays. They do dips. They smell interesting. I'm not getting anything. You're not getting anything? These are good. Not as good. Maybe still not as good as the chicken. I get the cumin. Mm, I have the cumin. I don't get the lamb. That's true. I don't taste any meat flavor at all. It's almost entirely just like a cumin lays. Which honestly, it's good. It's good. But I went in expecting lamb. I thought it would taste more like, you know, like a hero. Yeah. Which, I guess, I don't know why I thought that, but... Uh, so that one was pretty good. Mm. Now here's where they get a little weird. This next one is a brand one. Mm. Three flavors in one bag. It is. Oh, how are we gonna figure that out? Chili, lime, and salmon. Fish, Chili, fruit, lime, salmon. and pepper. So I guess we gotta figure out we gotta which get all switch three. in the bag and get all three. Should we try them all three at once? We gotta do them individually and then all at once. I would think okay. so. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, the, the, the overseas bags are made for... Oh, all smells combined. Let me see. I just smell lime and a little bit of pepper. I don't smell sand, like I don't smell fish at all. I, I, mean, I smell a little fish. They all look the same. Uh, I sure? I think... Oh. We need like a bowl or something to talk about him. And you want a bowl? I need a bowl. Let's get a bowl. He'll be right back with the bowl, and this video is brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. It's not. I'm not that popular. Raid Shadow Legends! The assist from my boy Michael. Yo, wish y'all had a boy like no boy named Michael, huh? So Raid Shadow Legends, you spray the roach and you kill it. That's simple. Oh, oh hey! Jump! <laughs> I think this is a lime. Does it smell like lime? This smells like a chili. <laughs> this smells also, like salmon. <laughs> it does? A little bit. That one does smell more fish. Like this one does not smell like fish. Oh, that's a lime. Okay, so the lighter colored one, that's a lime. That's a lime. Okay, so you have a, a salmon and a lime. That's a chili. So I need... You need a chili. You need a chili. I need a salmon. That's chili. That's salmon. I think. That might have been just the one you were holding. I don't know. That, that, that looks like chili, maybe. That's chili. Okay, great. So that's right. one cool, of each. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. Okay. So... Which one first? Uh, chili. Chili, because it was on the back first? Yeah. Okay. Chili. That's chili. Yeah. Pretty good. That's big up. I mean, it's, just, it's not even spicy. It just has the oh. nice flavor. Okay, now wine. Wine. Mm. That's this probably lime. the most mid lime chip I've ever had in my life. Now salmon. Now for the king. Salmon is one of my favorite fish to eat. I have watched you eat salmon before. But, but I'm not getting much None salmon. of those were that great. Yeah. All, all three of those were kind of low tier flavor wise. I do want to try them all together, but I don't want to search through all that again. So we're just going to move on to the next one. Awesome. I am dreading this one. Alright, this next one is what Michael was dreading, like he said. It is salted egg. Man, that white balance. There it is. Salted egg. There it is. Now, for this one, exclusively, I'm gonna give you guys some ASMR. Actually. Open it. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, my hands are so slippery. Never mind, we're not gonna get the ASMR after. Because these bags won't open. Oh my god. I don't smell anything. Really? I smell... Like... Almost like a... A beef smell? Yeah, it's Which weird. makes no sense, because that should not be in this bag It's like chicken. If, yeah. If, if it smells like anything that's not egg, it should be chicken. They look Normal good. looking chip. Clink. There's the egg. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's oh, oh boy, that's egg. <laughs> that, that's, yeah. It's probably the worst one so You know far. what's weird? You like it, don't you? That makes it the worst? No. I don't taste salt. <laughs> I just taste egg. No, it's salted egg. Ah. Oh. I mean, it wasn't like it was the worst thing in the world, but not great. All right. Okay, time to get on the soup-based ones. Yeah, so these are ones that do not have English on the front, but they did say what they are on the back. So this one is a sesame sauce hot pot flavor. Sesame sauce hot sauce. So this one I'm looking forward to, mostly because it has a big pot of soup, well, a hot pot, and then they have chopsticks dicking, dipping a lay into it, which is probably the lamest choice they could have done with it. You guys didn't drink any like raw through a lay as a filter? I'm sorry, what? Oh my god. You can smell the sesame. Oh! Good lord! That is strong. You could run that through a freaking juicer and make mm. some sushi out of it. Okay. Normal sesame dip. hot pot. I've got big hopes for this one. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, it, that's sesame all the way through, it's good. It smelled like sesame. It but tastes, it, to me it tastes exactly like it sesame tasted, sauce. It tasted like sesame, sesame oil. But it wasn't as strong as the smell. That's true. It tasted really good, actually. I like that one. Hey, some of these bags are going to be able to kill afterwards, because uh, so far they're doing pretty decent. Yeah. Well, so, Thanks, keeping up with the hot pot ones, the next one is simply called the spicy hot pot flavor. Spicy. So this one should be, if anything, from the last one, because the last one was sesame hot pot, but it was almost entirely just sesame flavored. So I'm just expecting this to be solely spicy. That just looks like chilies on the front. It's literally chilies, and I think, no, that's the that's a different one. Um, yeah. They open easy. Oh, that smells good. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that smells really good. I'm excited. I'll get a bigger one. Get a bigger one then. Don't eat it. <laughs> you almost <laughs> ate it. Almost ate it. <laughs> you see a chip in your hand. You almost, you know, when you want to eat it. Okay. Double Thank clink. Uh, mm. I like that one, it's really good. That's hey, good. not that bad. <laughs> okay, the hot pot ones, so far, they're slapping. They're slapping. I think this next one's also hot pot flavored, but I'm not, I need to reread it. Yeah. But first. <sighs> okay, so this next one has a cute little panda on the front. Again, no. Okay, no um, English, which is fine, but this one is Vine Pepper Artificial Pot Chicken Flavor. I don't know what Should most of that's supposed to mean, <laughs> but... Should have been like bamboo flavor. There is a nice picture on the back, and I think it shows it here on the front. I'm guessing these are vine peppers, which I've never heard of before. But they look like kind of like what they make wasabi with. Not with, but... They look like wasabi peas almost, but like natural. I don't know. Let's see. Well, this is definitely not wasabi root. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's like the peas. Like whenever they make them into wasabi peas, like they coat peas yeah. in it. Like, you know, they take peas. I, I get it. Okay. 
This one smells like the last one, but muted. Like, it smells like it, but like diet. Do you get that, or am I just, you know, am I just shooting in the dark? It, like, you know, like cartoons where like a character smells like a pine and the stick below the and... Yeah. This one is like the smell, like, reaches out of the bag and just tickles the front of your nose. It's like almost a flavor of and a then smell. It pulls back in. I'm trying to. There's something I've smelled before that smells just like this. Oh, you know what it is? It's not like, you know, so you know how like there's a fresh cut grass smell? Did you ever like mess around, you know those like green briar vines and stuff? Yeah. Did you ever like rip a whole bunch of those down to get like under a tree ranch or something? It's the smell like that that comes up in the air. When you like a bunch of plants that aren't grass. Our splash are very specific. Very, very specific. Let's try it. Hopefully the panda will be kind. So, there's almost a flavor. I'm just getting spice. There's like almost, it's like there's a, it's like, it's like it's trying to speak to me, I know it. <laughs> it's like I'm, it's like if I went to like a kitchen and they had a big glass wall between the kitchen and like the dining room, but there was no doors or windows. So you like, it's like you're watching them make food and you think you can smell it, but you can't. But just by seeing it, that's what it feels like to eat this. Feels like I'm in a Disney movie. If the spicy hot pot was like, wow, this one was like, hey, like, hey, and you were like, ow, that hurt, yeah. I guess. If the spicy hot pot was like Eagle Fang Karate, then this one was like Topanga Karate. <laughs> okay, <laughs> on to the next one. I'm excited for these. Yes, these next few are all, they all have a theme, uh, these next four. So see if you can guess it. Uh, this first one is spicy lobster. So this one should either be really good or just absolute garbage. As broke boys, this is the closer to get to lobster. Yeah. Also because we live in the West Texas. This smells like lobster. Red lobster. It's got not like it's not like overwhelming, but it definitely has a small lobster scent. You know what's weird? These have the texture of Pringles. Oh, well, yeah. These are like definitely, like these are definitely like Pringles like style chips. Like all the ones previously, other than the ridged ones, have been definitely Lay's chips. This one's like a Pringle. Yeah. Like it, like every single one of them there. Like, yeah, look at them. Even the broken bits look like broken Pringles. Like put that in too, but excuse me. Like for real. And then you'd eat it and you'd be like, is this lobster flavored Pringles? Okay. All right. Well, there's a really strong lobster flavor on the back end. It really sneaks up on you. The front of your tongue doesn't taste anything and then it hits the back of your tongue and it's like lobster. Lobster. <laughs> 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 Okay, so this one is a two-in-one. This one's a two-in-one, and you can probably see there's some grilled like shrimp there, and then there's some kind of sauce up there in the top corner, and that's convenient because this one is shrimp grill. Actually, sorry, it is potatoes, chip lays, rock two-in-one, shrimp grill, and seafood sauce flavor, and then in parentheses, lay, for some reason. <laughs> So this one is a two-in-one. Hopefully this one will be easier than dude, the English. Oh, dude, right away. They're green and red. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> yeah, this smells just like chips. Yeah. So, a green one and a... I think we should get these, these together. Well, this one we can do separate and together because they're actually easy to, just, to tell the difference. Because, like, here's the shrimp one, which is, like, red. And then this one is very visibly green. Yep, I think. No, those look the same. I see some green ones there in like the middle. Let me shake this. Check it out. There's one right there. Perfecto. Awesome. Okay, so what? I want to do the shrimp one. Do the shrimp first. Okay, shrimp first.
Tastes like shrimp. That's freaking tasty. Actually, that's actually not that bad. <laughs> the salt, salt seafood, food seafood sauce. That's. I've had this sauce before in my life. Same. I can taste it. Not like a Korean barbecue. They, they definitely serve this sauce. That's not that bad. That's not bad. Let's mix Take the other. I have one right here. <laughs> and you have a red one. Yep. You need a green one. Of course. There's one right there. Now these ones are more like ruffles. See, they have ridges. <laughs> That's the only one you can find. That's the only one I can find. It's the only one I can find. Tiniest little green. See, there's a gigantic one right on top. Oh, so I'm gonna get that one too. You're drowning in sauce. I've seen you do that before. Okay, combined ones. Sandwich of flavor. You know what? If it wasn't for the texture, it is like a grilled shrimp with dipped in that sauce. Like that's actually pretty accurate. The job lays Korea or wherever. Been doing pretty good. Next one. This one is when I had to run back because we forgot to get it. We're also going back to the max because it, it is, is the second max flavor. Grilled prawn with gochujang, gochujang sauce. And it is a, the best packaging I've ever seen in my life. That's a, oh, this is a prawn packaging. in a big blaze chip with confetti shooting out of it. There's people in the back. Worker, chilling, video games. Also, people like us. Blaze Thailand. Oh, these are Thai. Thai. Makes Ooh. sense. Makes sense, makes sense. All right. Oh, these are physically red. I can I can see it reflecting in you. Ooh! There's a lot of layers to that. Boy, that that's got some interesting. Uh, well, that touches you. Look how dark these boy boys are. <laughs> boy boys. Ben boy. Okay, let's see. Right off the bat. There's like a, almost like a pop of flavor. Shell eaters, you understand this. When you bite into the shell of a shrimp and the meat just pops in your mouth, like a gusher, that's what that tastes like. Okay, I don't know what I thought gochujang sauce is. I thought it would be spicier. There's, there's no spice, it's almost just like a prawn with I don't know, like a barbecue sauce, like shrimp. barbecue sauce or something. Yeah, like it's just <clears throat> big shrimp with barbecue, which I mean, I mean, good on you. Now, this one was one of the first ones we picked up. So just walking past the aisle, I'm like, hey, what is this? This is hot chili squid. Yep. So it's oh, this one's gonna be pungent. <laughs> this is gonna smell a lot. <laughs> Hot chili squid, let's go. And if you didn't notice, the theme that I mentioned in the last four is they all had some kind of seafood. <laughs> oh, already? No, it's not from here. <laughs> That's kind of like dense squid. flavor, <laughs> like smell. The smell is like heavy. Oh my god. Except for the tiniest bit of chili. I don't taste anything. I taste dryness. Maybe I got a bad one. Ah, wait. There's definitely an aftertaste. <laughs> oh, wait. Why does my tongue feel slimy?
do like that. So, these aren't like outstandingly bad. It's like, it's like you legitimately just eat a chip that just tastes bad. If these are in the cupboard, I'd eat them. But I There's a flavor in this that I recognize, but I don't know. I wouldn't like purchase a big bag of these. It's like if you, you know what they taste like? Mm -hmm. And this is gonna be very specific. It's like, it's like if you cook green peas and then you like take all the liquid out and let them like dry. Oh, no, that's, that's what the flavor of me. It's like ed edamame. edamame. It's like dried like green beans. Which is weird, because it's supposed to taste like squid, squid, which definitely does not taste like that. Uh, next one. Next one is technically the one that we first noticed. Technically, because it's so flamboyantly packaged. Going back to the Max. We're going to the last Max. Ghost Pepper. Ghost Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, you've been around the channel. I like eating spicy food. I have like three videos eating spicy food here in the like to do one. Yeah, you I need more than that. Got like the chip, the gummy bear, the we did chocolate. We did chocolate. Also did the uh Burger King ghost pepper nuggets, which were horrible. <laughs> did you ever do back when Taco Bell had like the the Carolina Reaper nachos or whatever? Yeah, but they weren't hot. <laughs> I didn't do a video on that. That just tastes like spice. You don't even see any like pepper flakes on it. I don't mind actually. Ah, yours are a little flaked up a bit. Oh, yours kind of has some on the back. On the back. So that's the one you gotta put. The part you gotta put on your tongue first. So last, the last chip. Hits you pretty fast. He hits fast. The actual flavor of them is pretty good. It's getting up a little bit now. Mm -hmm. Oh, I saw it a little too soon. That's getting a little hot now. That's actually pretty hot. <clears throat> That's not that bad, though. That's not a bad chip. Actually. Just need to close my palate. <laughs> not the raid. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually not bad. The heat's going away already, so it doesn't last super long. Thailand, of course. Good old Thailand. Alright, we have one more. This one is a bonus. It is not technically a Lay's. But it is made by Frito-Lay's. Yes. I like this. The Mexican Street Corn Cheetos. The Lote Cheetos. I saw these at the store and I was like, I gotta get these. I gotta get them. Feels pretty good. It does smell good. Looks pretty uh, seasoned. Looks like pretty good, yeah. These smell good. Those are good. Mmm. I get the lime. I get the red uh, powder bones off. Is it mayo they put around it? Pinto? It's pretty good though. Mm hmm. I'm just gonna put these over here. For no reason. Okay. Yeah. A lot of good ones. A lot of hits. Some misses. Some misses. Some mid. Some just chips. But but overall, I'd say pretty good. I'd give this entire experience around like a, like a nine out of ten. Yeah. That's true. Um. So. When it comes to least to best. I think the best one. I already know what you're gonna say. It's gotta be this one here. Oh, you're not picking the chicken? I thought you'd pick the chicken for sure. Chicken's number two. So he's what he's saying but... is the uh, he says the best is the spicy hot pot. Which I have to agree is very good. Oh, it smells good. 
Um, it's very, very good. Um, I would maybe, maybe have to agree. Um, that one is very good. Yeah, I think I'm gonna agree. The spicy hot pot is the best one, at least to me. My least favorite. <clears throat> See, I mean, it's three and one. Cause I can eat the salt, the salted egg. I can eat the hot chili shrimp, squid. My mistake. But these are kind of a letdown. So for me, mine is actually going to be the hot chili squid, simply for the fact that. I went into it expecting squid flavor and expecting it to either be bad or somehow work really well with the hot chili. Which doesn't But there was sense. only hot chili. Because you can smell the squid. It smells like squid. There is no squid flavor. And I ate two of these. And there was nothing. There is dried squids on... Maybe that's why. It's supposed to be dried squid and chili. Which maybe affects the flavor. I don't know. But... Yeah, so we are going to rank them, to, all of them, and put them in the, the description, description box down below. Right. I mean, two different lists, my list and his list. Right. Maybe. No. Anyways, it's been cool catching up with you guys. We also watch Halloween Ends. We'll speak more about that later. Anyways, we're out. Yep, we're heading out. Peace. Peace. Adios, Azakus.